Hi, my name is Trevor Tice from kbandstraining.com. If you have tension in your lower back, glutes, or hamstrings, oftentimes you may require a little bit of assistance to stretch out these regions. Today during K-Bands Live 117, we're gonna be moving through several exercises with the ballistic bands, stretching our IT bands, glutes, and hamstrings. To complete the hamstring stretch, you're gonna spin the ballistic band around your foot and then stretch the hamstring. It's key here that we keep a nice straight leg with no bend to our knee. If you're finding yourself bending your knee an awful lot, we wanna come out of the stretch a little bit to where we can straighten that leg out and then get a nice hold for 20 seconds. After that 20 second point, we're gonna be pushing, getting hamstring activation into the resistance band, coming down and then pulling the ballistic band back up for a great stretch. We're going three to four sets on each side of the hamstrings, really getting great holds and pushing through the resistance of the ballistic band. Be sure that you've got the right level chose for you. If you're a little bit younger, you might need less resistance. If you're a little older, then we wanna make sure that it's a nice sturdy pull with the ballistic band, not getting a lot of flex. The ballistic band groin stretch can be completed the same way as the hamstring. We're gonna have the loop wrapped around our foot, pulled out to the side. Now there's two points here at which we can work the groin. We're either going to work at a low position with our hands out to the side, outside arm high, or we can go a little bit more advanced and use the opposite arm, pulling it over your head and then supporting it, trying to get more range of motion. This is gonna be a lot of groin and a little bit of hamstring there in this position. You're also gonna be working with resistance, pushing down into the ballistic band, getting a little bit more activation before we stretch that three or four sets per leg. Keeping your IT bands is essential for your performance. So go ahead and wrap the ballistic band around that foot and we're gonna work really low to begin. If you've never done an IT band stretch, it is not a glute or a lower back stretch. Don't let the knee roll over and the hips come off the ground. You're gonna do your best to keep both hips square to the floor and shift that leg down low by your foot. As you feel that pull through your IT band, if it's a little bit painful, we wanna work low before we work high. Next, we're gonna slide our hands up supporting the band, not pulling too quickly and just go nice and easy to the farthest point at which you can keep your hips square on the floor while pulling into the stretch. Be careful as we move into the resisted portion where we push into the ballistic band. We don't wanna overload any movements and we don't want to pull those hips off the ground. So nice and easy, maintaining that proper form. Hip flexor stretch with the ballistic bands may feel a little bit uncomfortable. You might want to use a mat, but we're going to be working on our chest. Go ahead and roll that ballistic band around your foot and we're going to pull it up over our back. Use both hands to support the movement and pull up into the resistance. 20 second hold there before sliding back out nice and easy. Don't drop the knee, slamming it on the ground. We want to be under control the entire set. Next, we're going to pull back up into that resistance, getting the three to four sets for both legs, working through great range of motion. The ballistic bands mobility stretch routine is very simple. Remember, each exercise is gonna be worked for 20 second holds with resisted sets pulling out in between, completing both legs. Each exercise that you completed during this video is going to challenge range of motion. Be sure that you work to keep your legs straight and relax as we go through the stretch sequences. 